ಬಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಬಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಕಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೋಕ್ಯಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಅಂಹೇತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೆ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಸ್ಸು ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋರತ್ನ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವವಿರಂಜನ ತರಣ್ಯ ವೇತಾಪ್ತಿಹಂ ತ್ವನತಾಲ್ಭವಾಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣ ಬಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗುಭೋದೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನಾಮಗತಿರಾಸುರಾಗುರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶಿಯಾತೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶಿಯಾತೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ಈಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಯುಗಧಾರಮ ಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ಗವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಸಂವೀತ್ ತ್ವಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನ 
नाम चिंतामणि कृष्ण चैतन्य रस विग्रह पूर्ण शुद्ध नित्य मुक्त अभिन्न त्यात नाम 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 चिंतामणि कृष्ण चैतन्य रस विग्रह पूर्ण शुद्ध नित्य मुक्त अभिन्न त्वात नाम नाम गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी नगर प्रभुपा But when we can understand how that, we can realize, how we can realize that, that non-different from Nami, that is the main question. Nami, that is the main question. Gaudiya Goshti Pati, Shri Shila Bhakti, Shri Ram Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, Paramahansa Jagat Guru told that Nami and Nami, they are non-different from each other. It is not different from each other. And our anarth, whatever is there, Whatever anarth is there, in order to remove that anarth, when the anarth is gone, that this kind of uh, uh, this kind of things will happen. That kind of uh, satisfaction will come inside our heart. But then there is another. There is one gap. Bhagwan, the name Bhagwan, and the name of Bhagwan himself is not different. Which is called the Shukji Vatma. In between that, there is one wall. In between that, that is the wall of Maya. That is the wall. That is the gaping of Maya. That's why we couldn't understand that. I am actually not this body. I am actually Jiva Atma. But actually, Bhagwan should be remaining close to Atma. Why actually is not there? Because it is not in our realization. So all different kinds of anarth when it is gone, then only we can realize that. Topa is actually speaking. That Sri Krishna Nam when when you are going without aparad. Then definitely you can realize that day that name and the name and the Bhagwan and the name itself is not different. And with this name, every siddhi can be attained. You can just realize that. You can realize that. But now it is not possible. Krishna Nam. When you are doing nirapraad without any apraad, when you don't have any apraad, and there are ten kinds of nam apraad as well, there definitely it should be discussed as well. And Hari Nam Chinta Mani, Hari Nam Chinta Mani, what does it mean? It is a very, uh, very extensive uh, uh, discussion on that. Sila Sachidanand Bhakti Mo Thakur uh, is speaking on Hari Nam Chinta Mani. He has just. Uh, uh, Given as Hari Nam Chintamani, and uh, uh, I'm just discussing. It is uh, right to speak now that Shila Bhakti No Thakur has uh, spoken that this book, Hari Nam Chintamani, it is not for everyone. This book is not for everyone. It is restricted. What is the restriction? Bhakti No Thakur actually speaking. That this book actually, it is not for everyone. Not for everyone. Those who are actually having sharanagati onto lotus feet of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu have that full confidence onto lotus feet of Gorang Mahaprabhu, and not like that, but onto their in their inside their heart, they have that shraddha onto the naam. They have get shraddha onto the naam, hundred percent. And they have taken the shelter of Nam. That everything I will do Nam only. For them, those who have taken the shelter of Nam, Prabhu, those who have that shraddha onto the Nam Ashray Bhakti, for this, for them, this book is written. There are different kinds of sadhana bhakti. There are sixty-four kinds of sadhana bhakti. There are limbs. It is already uh, given in the shastras, and in this Nam Ashraya Bhakti, that is the topmost. You will get topmost siddhi in that. If this is the actual. Those who have this kind of sharnagati onto that have that confidence. 
साधक्स दे आर द बेस्ट ऑफ ऑल द साधक्स वेदर ऑफ द साधक विच आर डूइंग द भजन दीज आर द टॉप मोस्ट those who are doing bhajan they are the top most those who are uh, thinking that in name everything is there they have that full confidence on naam this kind of confidence those who have they are actually they are the the top most of all the sadhaks whether they are grahasthi whether they are in announced order not uh, uh, it doesn't matter at all mahaprabhu actually does that shiksha ashtakam of mahaprabhu it is written in shikshashtakam this kind of thing is already given there mahaprabhu what is the actual instruction of mahaprabhu what is the instruction of mahaprabhu it is actually full of this shikshashtakam we can see this mahaprabhu this is written in eight shlokas the whole shiksha of mahaprabhu instructions you can find in eight shlokas but for bonded jeevas it is not at all possible we, we have already heard from guru varga that uh, all the goswamis which have uh, all the goswamis have uh, the books they have written the goswamis which have written all the books all the books written by goswamis all are the exact explanation of shiksha ashtakam shiksha ashtakam is that uh, it is actually written in the books of shad goswamis it is actually the summary of explanation of the shiksha ashtakam it means that the shiksha ashtakam that eight shlokas mahaprabhu actually is giving all the instructions have collected in a one in a, in a has already collected that sare milta hai we can get everything in that and in shiksha ashtakam mahaprabhu mahaprabhu actually how how uh, different kind of bhava ji has shown that with which bhava how to do bhakti and how to do naam bhajan when to do when that naam is actually going uh, coming on the tongue everything actually etc mahaprabhu has told us and if hari naam chintamani we are discussing it then hari das thakur we will definitely discuss about hari das thakur why because mahaprabhu is swayam bhagwan himself mahaprabhu is swayam bhagwan himself there is no doubt about it but still if he is bhagwan still mahaprabhu is uh, uh, doing the work of an acharya he just want to make uh, this siddhant vichar and his instructions he want to he want to communicate uh, via uh, devotees and uh, shuddha bhakt what is the actual chesta of bhagwan just to give uh, just to communicate uh, the uh, glorification of naam by haridas thakur and uh, uh, by roop goswami pad just to glorify the rasa tatva and sanatan goswami pad uh, just to give vej uh, shastra glorification so each and every devotee that is the actual preaching of mahaprabhu to just preach each and every uh, different rasa from other devotees uh, and we can find uh, uh, from mahaprabhu in shikshashtakam we can find all the instructions given by mahaprabhu but still this haridas thakur he is as the naam acharya actually haridas thakur is the acharya of name naam is the top most and uh, apart from naam nothing is there ram se naam naam apart from naam nothing is top most and so those who are the, those who is the acharya of naam this haridas thakur actually he is via this uh, acharya he is actually preaching the uh, glorification of naam that is the actual rules of mahaprabhu mahaprabhu is uh, not at all uh, uh, giving any diksha he is actually just uh, uh, doing via pure devotees bhagwan is actually is giving uh, via pure devotees that is the actual instruction of mahaprabhu whatever uh, uh, honor and uh, fame 
and uh, whatever is there he is actually bhagwan wants to give it to devotees everything bhagwan wants to give to devotee bhagwan swayam don't want to take that like haridas thakur uh, has uh, like haridas thakur the glorification of haridas thakur has been spread all over bhagwan has already spread it all over the world madhvendra puri pad the glorification of madhvendra puri pad you can see it is spread all over the world. the glorification of sanatan goswami pad also has been spread and shilla rup goswami pad glorification also has been spread by bhagwan so every glorification has been spread all over the world by bhagwan that is the actual rule of bhagwan. bhagwan bhagwan actual rule is to spread the glorification of his pure devotees maybe the whole instructions of the mahaprabhu can be find in sikh shastakam but this is not the thinking of the bonded jeeva that they can understand this deep vichar uh, of bhagwan that's why guru varg has told that all the books of the goswamis are the all are the explanation of sikh shastakam and especially naam the glorification of now in order to understand that haridas thakur has been initial has been named as the acharya of naam he is the naam acharya in order to just glorify the naam mahaprabhu is swayam actually giving making acharya of uh, naam and so without discussing about haridas thakur this hari naam chintamani this uh, this hari naam chintamani this we shield link tree this chinta if just be thinking everything will be done this kind of glorification haridas thakur we have to glorify the uh, uh, we have to glorify haridas thakur that is very much important shila bhakti no thakur has told that haridas thakur he has born in a muslim family why why he has just taken birth in muslim family why bhagwan has done this bhagwan actually has done uh, by his own wish by his own will has done given uh, all his pure topmost devotees actually giving birth in the low born family just want to uh, glorify his own uh, glorifications and he just want to break the false ego of all those uh, fro- uh, all those uh, false ego of those uh, wanted jeevas he just want to crush that so that they ca- that false ego can get removed from their heart that's why bhagwan is doing that that's why haridas thakur has just born in a uh, muslim family in a low family in the yavan family and narottam das thakur has been uh, uh, taken birth in vaishya kul gor kishor das baba ji has taken birth in vaishya vaishya family it is all the time happening that is actual rules of bhagwan jadu thakur has been born in low 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 class family just by his own will bhagwan just to make sure that give confirmation what to give confirmation that bhakti is the topmost bhakti shakal sabse bada hai bhakti is the topmost apart from bhakti nothing is there and and without bhakti whatever uh, uh, arrangements actually all arrangements are it's like dead body it's like a dead body what if without bhakti without bhakti whatever you are doing there is no glorification at all if someone wants to show that then it is just like a dead body mrita deha means it's like a dead body ma prabhu actually speaking mrita deha that but dead body one one lady is there who is very beautiful she is dead and actually she was just giving him many nice nice diamonds on her body it is just like a work of a foolish person like a dead body like a dead body when you you are giving very nice diamonds and you are decorating it what is the use now he is actually dead now what she is actually dead but what is the use of decorating her now so mahaprabhu by his own will actually is glorifying haridas thakur and has uh, uh, given the avirbhav of haridas thakur on this material world and in the forest of benapol haridas thakur just to go just done, go on doing his hari bhajan there and all the time he is doing hari naam sankirtan and he used to give water to tulsi this type this two seva he used to do haridas thakur 
but there are some uh, fraudster persons when uh, uh, buran gaon uh, is the avirbhav uh, place of uh, it is one village in bangladesh it is actually avirbhav uh, place of uh, haridas thakur and just so i think so it may be i have to see that this one gram one gram after there is jasor after that i think so it is jasor where is the avirbha place of haridas thakur it is clo- close to one gram there is one crown uh, where uh, haridas thakur has taken birth and in the very small time he has just uh, uh, just uh, in order to show his own swarupa he has just left all his home and he has just taken one bhajan kutir near benapol in the forest of benapol and he has just made one bhajan kutir there and he is doing naam sankirtan there and doing naam smaran day and night he is doing that there. he was busy doing that but some persons actually they were very much uh, getting uh, hinsu kon haridas thakur just to uh, make him fall down that actually he is a fall down person in order to show that that uh, lakshahira actually lakshahira there is one prostitute she they have take uh, they have chosen and uh, they have chosen one uh, prostitute called lakshahira and that ramchandra khan actually just uh, he actually he want to just crush the all uh, name fame and position of haridas thakur in order to just crush that in order to destroy that he has just chosen that prostitute lakshahira he actually just want to make engage that vaishya uh, prostitute in uh, uh, the service of haridas thakur and actually when that uh, uh, prostitute actually in the three days actually just listening to naam sankirtan of haridas thakur her behavior just got changed after that and she actually has taken the shelter of haridas thakur and just uh, go on doing hari naam sankirtan after that and haridas thakur after that he went from that place he just went from that day to forward to some other place where there is one place actually that is yadunandan acharya that is the uh, who is the actual disciple of uh, advaita gosai he has just went to the house of yat yat yadunandan acharya and in his and in his bhajan kutir he started doing bhajan there and in between haridas thakur used to glorify the name always used to glorify naam sankirtan and used to glorify naam sankirtan there is one gopal chakravarti one brahman there very fraudster brahman very uh, destructible brahman he who don't have any faith on to the lotus feet of bhagwan at all he what he has done what he has done in the sabha that this gopal chakravarti he has done what is the raghunath das goswami was father that he uh, his brother big brother hiranya kovardhan they were actually doing some job and they used to do some profit loss something kind of job they do they in the sabha of, in the sabha of hiranya kovardhan he this chakupal chakravarti has just disrespected haridas thakur and when haridas thakur actually all uh, all the time just glorifying the glorification of naam he actually has just in angry mood has spoken that he is actually emotional this haridas thakur is emotional and this tapasya and and this so much yagya after tapasya if we are not getting uh, uh, something that this harinam will get no no it is not possible if it is there then definitely i will cut my nose and if it knows that then definitely your nose will get cut in the whole sub actually all the just getting speaking oh what you has spoken he is actually disrespected hari uh, haridas thakur Oof. then in within 3 days this uh, person just got uh, severe leprosy severe leprosy on his body and uh, and because of his aparadh he can understand what he has done his aparadh and after that uh, haridas thakur just went from that place to kulia kulia gram and he has done bhajan in kulia gram there are lot of incidents instances there also and maya devi just swayam came coming there in the front of that cave and uh, she just wanted to test haridas thakur maya devi has just uh, came there and has just taken uh, the shelter of haridas thakur lotus feet because in order to test haridas thakur she has come but she cannot do anything 
and after that she has taken the shelter of Haridas Thakur and that Maya Devi is just getting full eternal happiness. So if we can see like that, that Haridas Thakur, the glorification is in all four directions just got spread it and, and the, in the end Advait Goswami also has glorified Haridas Thakur. When Haridas Thakur, when there is one Shraddha, Shraddha Karma of his father and in that Shraddha, in the Shraddha Patra, the pot of the Shraddha, it is actually, it is given to Haridas Thakur for uh, eating and uh, Haridas Thakur and all the whole, all the Brahmans, they were getting angry and they just want to get the connection with Haridas uh, Advait Goswami. Advait Goswami actually speaking that according to Shastra, it is written there that I am doing that. Whatever is there in Shastra, I am not going against Shastra and whatever Haridas Thakur is the Haridas Thakur become very unhappy and just speaking that how you are doing like this, you are just, just staying in this world and I am a very fallen person. I am just taken in a very low low born family, in the Yavan family and you are giving me that Shraddha Patra, that Shraddha pot you are giving, that is not at all good. Advait Goswami actually speaking that that is what, what is good and what is not good that is already written in the Shastra on that uh, on the basis of that I have just done that what is good and what is not good on the basis of the Shastras according to that only I am doing that and you uh, by just doing your uh, taking prasadam I am just getting the fruit of uh, giving millions of Brahmans this prasadam maybe they can just uh, leave me it is not at all it doesn't matter to me but what I have done by just giving you prasadam uh, it is uh, the fruit of giving millions of Brahman that prasadam so slowly steadily uh, the glorification of Haridas Thakur was spread in all the four directions and I just want to speak in between that the Nam Bhajan of Haridas Thakur he was just all the Muslims just got uh, uh, fired up in the fire of Harinam and he become very angry this Kazi and they are just become jealousy having jealousy mood with Harinam Sakir, uh, with uh, Haridas Thakur and after that what happened uh, the, they taken the advice of uh, uh, king and he said you just uh, just uh, ask him to leave Harinam he just uh, making a lot of efforts to leave Harinam and when Haridas Thakur doesn't uh, care about that then where, where they just uh, take Haridas Thakur he was uh, just uh, uh, killing Haridas Thakur there where there in Kalna there is one place Kalna in Bardhaman district they started beating Haridas Thakur there in the market. They are actually uh, marriage of Nityanand Prabhu, uh, marriage of Nityanand Prabhu with Janva Basuda. A lot of important places are there in Kalna. In this Kalna Mulluk, he was, uh, Haridas Thakur was beaten in 22 markets. Different markets was beaten up. In 22 different markets, Haridas Thakur were beaten. And he just want to stop the Harinam of uh, uh, Haridas Thakur. You just have to stop Harinam, otherwise we will beat you. Like this it is going on. But Haridas Thakur speaking, that if our, my body will just get into pieces, still my body, you are just cutting into small pieces, still I can't leave Harinam. I will not leave Harinam at all. After that, when this Kazi, the, that person of Kazi, who was just beating Haridas Thakur, they just become, they were actually speaking in front of Haridas Thakur, they were beating him so much, so much, that why you are not dying, why you are not getting died, you must have died after long, because if you will not die, then definitely, uh, then definitely we will uh, get killed. Uh, definitely that um, uh, king will kill us. And if we will not get killed, then definitely we, they will. He will. The king will give us punishment. Then Haridas Thakur told after that. Then okay, if uh, uh, if I am not killed and you are getting uh, and your life is getting uh, uh, 
and your life uh, is getting scared then that, no worries i i will leave my body after that haridas tako just uh, got into samadhi and all that muslim people what they done they have just taken the body of haridas tako and just uh, thrown it into the river ganga they are saying that he is actually is hindu so let us uh, just uh, throw him in river ganga definitely by throwing in ganga he will get uh, destroyed <laughs> like this they are thinking after that uh, when they just throw uh, haridas tagur in the water slowly steadily haridas tagur going through river ganga and just uh, come to shantipur kulya shantipur and in shantipur he just went to his bhajan kutir in the cave he was doing naam sankirtan on the time one lakh one lakh naam he used to do Three lakh naam he used to do, and in in these three lakh naam, one lakh naam he used to do just to speak silently, and one lakh he used to do with uh, within his mouth and his tongue is going on like this he used to do one lakh naam, and another one lakh naam he used to do with he used to uh, cry loudly so that all the people can get the mangal, get eternal happiness with that Hari naam he used to cry loudly. Harinam, because Harinam is that with the uh, it is uh, strictly prohibited to do Harinam with the uh, uh, with the fully loudly voice. It is uh, strictly. It is actually the uh, Sahadiya people are speaking like this that to do Harinam with the uh, loud voice. It is not at all strictly strictly prohibited. You just need to do silently. It is not uh, at all. Uh, it is not at all uh, good because it is the uh, suppose it is written in shastra that to do uh, harinam with uh, loud voice is good that's why when he was staying in kulya his uh, name and fame was there in all the four direction and he just go uh, staying with hari advait gosai and when he was staying with advait gosai there when mahaprabhu just got avirbhav on this material world then haridas tagore got that uh, eternal happiness and blissfulness inside his heart and advait gosai also got that same eternal blissfulness and they were uh, discussing with each other that something has happened they have just realized that thing that uh, mahaprabhu has avirbhav has taken avirbhav on this material world so like this i will not be speaking uh, it too long i will just be speaking in one ma- one word that haridas thakur is actually the parshad of mahaprabhu and uh, the dhanya of maha uh, of haridas thakur is being uh, preached by koran mahaprabhu and when haridas thakur was crying where i will go then mahaprabhu speaking then you just go with me to pushottam dham and when uh, mahaprabhu uh, haridas thakur went to pushottam dham uh, he just went to the bhajan kutir of bhajan kutir of mahaprabhu that is kashi mishra bhavan he doesn't uh, he don't uh, uh, want to go inside the kashi mishra bhavan uh, he just want to in in between the pathway in the in between the pathway of uh, kashi mishra bhavan he was just uh, making tandva there and uh, when all the devotees just came there to take him to kashi mishra bhavan then all those gorya bhakt just went to, to take darshan of mahaprabhu there in uh, gambira mandir uh, then uh, haridas thakur was there uh, in between the way of gambira temple he didn't enter gambira temple i was talking of that time haridas thakur was there outside the gambira temple and where is haridas thakur you should come inside then haridas thakur is not coming inside then all the devotees asking that uh, you, mahaprabhu is calling you haridas thakur actually speaking that it is not my adhikar to go inside because i am a fallen soul i am actually malich i have taken i am a low born person i can't go inside when mahaprabhu maybe when mahaprabhu taking prasadam i will just take some dry prasadam out of that after uh, like this so like this you see haridas thakur has shown his tranadipi bhav and mahaprabhu became so much happy by this and uh, mahaprabhu became so much happy by seeing this uh, dhanya of haridas thakur uh, and at last 
when Mahaprabhu uh, Haridas Thakur in the last um, Haridas Thakur in the last time when he uh, was doing a Nam Sankirtan in his last time it is very important to speak this because Mahaprabhu always used to go in the morning after taking the Arti Darshan of Jagannath he used to go to the Bhajan Kuti of Haridas Thakur and uh, when Sanatan Goswami was there then definitely he used to meet Sanatan Goswami as well then Haridas Thakur was living there when he used to meet Haridas Thakur after speaking something with Haridas Thakur, whatever prasadam, prasadam he got from Jagannath, he used to uh, hand it over to Haridas Thakur. And Mahaprabhu, this is the actual rule of uh, Mahaprabhu, he always used to go there. Uh, one time what happened, Mahaprabhu actually just went there to Haridas Thakur's place and Haridas Thakur was doing a japa slowly steadily Mahaprabhu speaking that how are you Mahaprabhu asked him Haridas Thakur how are you Haridas Thakur speaking that I am good but my this uh, material mind I am not getting able to do my Sankhya Nam complete my material mind is not good when uh, Govindji just uh, uh, Govind the servant of Mahaprabhu has come to Haridas Thakur by taking prasadam, he said that you take prasadam, he said that I can't take prasadam because my Sankhya Nam hasn't got complete. He has just taken a pinch of prasadam from there and just taking one particle on his tongue just to give respect to Mahaprabhu. And when Mahaprabhu actually asking that uh, my, body's, my body is okay but my material mind is not good because I am not able to do Sankhya Nam completely. So then he said, why you are giving so much uh, uh, forcefulness on doing Sankhyana? Don't be forceful, don't be having force, forceful attitude to do Sankhyana. You are uh, Namacharya, but this kind of uh, talking what Mahaprabhu is speaking to Haridas Thakur, no, 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 actually I have to do Nam, definitely I have to do Nam. And in the last time also, Harina Haridas Thakur also speaking to Mahaprabhu that I am thinking like this, I am thinking that definitely you will go out from this material world now. You will be just uh, finishing your uh, Leela here. And uh, in the last time actually he is speaking to Mahaprabhu that uh, why I am thinking knowingly unknowingly that definitely you will go from this material world now. But uh, you just give me one promise Prabhu. You have to promise me one thing that I will I should. I want to go before uh, uh, when you will be leaving material world. I want to leave before uh, you from this material world. That when you will be just finishing your lila here on this material world, I don't want to see this. You just give me this promise that I just want to fulfill my wish. Mahaprabhu actually speaking that Krishna is Dayamaya. is all merciful. Definitely he will uh, do something. And uh, he started speaking that uh, this is my last wish and otherwise it's your will. It's my wish that uh, that in my last time before leaving my body, I should uh, have your uh, darshan of your lotus feet. It should be there inside my heart. I should just have your lotus feet on my chest and your... Uh, uh, ne uh, full of nectar your uh, uh, face I should uh, just take the darshan I just want to leave body and otherwise uh, 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 rest is your wish rest is your will so Mahaprabhu actually just uh, accepted that invitation uh, that uh, invitation from uh, Haridas Thakur I, Haridas Thakur speaking I don't want to see that Leela and I just want to leave my body before going before you are going uh, from this material world. You just have to arrange that. It is just my uh, mercy, uh, humble petition on your lotus feet. Mahaprabhu speaking that you are speaking that uh, you are my topmost uh, uh, topmost uh, close one and, and uh, your life and if you will go from this material world then what I will do? Then Haridas Thakur speaking that Prabhu so don't do this Maya with me. And there are uh, infinity uh, small small insects are there. Small so much topmost devotees are there in this whole material world. Whatever you are doing with them, you just need to uh, have.
have to fulfill my wish. And next day, what happened when Mahaprabhu actually came in front of Haridas Thakur? Mahaprabhu, he was just sitting in front of Mahaprabhu and he's taking his lotus feet at the chest. And after that, he was just closing his eyes with, just making his eyes contact with Mahaprabhu. He was just seeing Mahaprabhu's face and he's speaking Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya and just leaving his body there. And after leaving his body, Mahaprabhu actually just started crying like mad and he was just taking in the lap the body of Haridas Thakur in his lap and he is just going to Swargudwar. He is just uh, taking uh, some uh, sand and he was just doing uh, Nitya Kirtan in the whole way and after that he is taking just to give respect to Namacharya Haridas Thakur. He just uh, uh, take away all the sand from there and then giving Samadhi to Haridas Thakur and after giving Samadhi he has taken some Tulsi over the Samadhi and he is speaking to all the devotees that you are very much uh, uh, you are very much lucky that this Nirjan of Haridas Thakur those who are actually taking part in this those who are giving sand on this and those who are doing Kirtan in this and those who have taken Mahaprasadam all those persons definitely will get Krishna Bhakti and Mahaprabhu actually uh, just in the ocean just uh, uh, taken uh, the bath of Haridas Thakur's body in the ocean and while giving bath to the body of Haridas Thakur he is speaking that this ocean uh, before giving Samadhi to Haridas Thakur he told to the ocean that you are very much lucky that you got the touch of Haridas Thakur that you have got the touch of the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur he is speaking to ocean Mahaprabhu so you are uh, apart from uh, you are the most lucky uh, to the ocean he is speaking this ocean has become the Mahatirth today by the touch of the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur. Mahaprabhu has spoken that you have become a Mahatith today. You have become a Mahatith today because you have taken the lotus feet of touch of, by the touch of Haridas Thakur. That's why you have become a Mahatith. This actually Mahaprabhu told. And Haridas Thakur this Samadhi, this Utsav of Haridas Thakur Samadhi, for the Utsav of Haridas Thakur, just to celebrate the festival of Haridas Thakur, Tirobhav, he just, uh, Mahaprabhu just went to uh, go to Ananda Bazar and uh, where a lot of prasadam was there of Jagannath, he just went to Ananda Bazar and there he actually taking all the prasadam there. He is going everywhere and taking. Actually, my Haridas is gone from this material world. For this material, for the Haridas, I am just asking something from you. You just give it to me. And like this, he is arranging all the prasadam and Swaruddha mother in front of. And with his own hands, he is just giving Mahaprasadam to everyone. He is giving, distributing Mahaprasadam with his own hand uh, to everyone. And in the end, what happened? Srila Sarup Goswami actually asked that you just please sit down Prabhu there and you don't distribute par prasadam now and if you will not you will not take prasadam nobody will take prasadam so you just sit and take prasadam so Sarup Dhanadar Goswami is speaking like this and those who have taken the participate in this Nirjan Tithi of Haridas Thakur they were doing those who have taken uh, uh, participation in uh, 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 taken uh, those who are doing uh, giving one uh, one muti sand to Haridas Thakur Samadhi those who have taken uh, participate in this festival of Haridas Thakur taken Mahaprasadam in Haridas Thakur's festival definitely they will get Krishna Bhakti and who has just uh, uh, taken those who are even that Prem Sampati who is not getting by Brahma Shankar also that Mahaprabhu is giving that, uh, distributing to everyone, those who have taken part in that Haridas Thakur Tirobhav. So that's why Mahaprabhu has just glorified the uh, Harinam. And uh, one time what happened, Mahaprabhu actually 
एज हरिदास ठाकुर इज क्वेश्चनिंग टू हरिदास ठाकुर महाप्रभु दैट हरिदास ठाकुर इज आंसरिंग हिम हरिदास एक्चुअली ऑल द हाउ दिस यवन फैमिली ऑल द यवन कुल विल गेट डिलीवर्ड फ्रॉम दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग टू हरिदास ठाकुर दे आर एक्ट नॉट एट ऑल डूइंग हरिनाम हरिदास ठाकुर स्पीकिंग दैट प्रभु you don't worry about this because these actually at least they are those hara they are actually speaking ishwar as hara ha means there is one exclamation ha krishna there is one exclamation there this is one explanation at the same time ha krishna if he is speaking ha ram kai if he is speaking ha ram then definitely they will get nama bhas and with nama bhas they will get mukti you don't worry mahaprabhu he is speaking to mahaprabhu like this haridas thakur we is glorifying the names hari naam slowly steadily and haridas thakur has told that this sthavar how they will get uh, uh, mangal then haridas thakur is speaking that uh, this advanced technology it is uh, uh, speaking haridas thakur actually speaking that if 50 years before he told mahaprabhu he is speaking to mahaprabhu that uh, that you are speaking uh, so utch swar you are with loud voice you are speaking hari naam mahaprabhu actually this hari naam is definitely it is slowly steadily getting propagating in all the four direction in this tavar jangam and it is just uh, kicking this tavar jangam this sound vibration can go and can propagate in all the directions and and that echo will come hari krishna hari krishna that echo will come hari das thakur speaking to prabhu you are actually pure param chetan vastu you are param param chetan vastu param chetan vastu actually this is the name of bhagwan so this uh, all kind of uh, this uh, this tila all these uh, mountains hills all actually they are just uh, uh, hearing your hari naam and they are just answering you hari hari das thakur speaking that when you are speaking hari naam that sound vibration actually is propagating everywhere and is actually just uh, getting touched with that and after that with stavar jangam is getting that echo hari krishna hari krishna this is not at all echo this is not at all echo they are actually answering you up front like we have already heard in shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran that uh, sukhdev goswami that from sukhdev this is not at all uh, lie this is actually a uh, topmost siddhant what actually haridas thakur has spoken how much it is truth i will just uh, tell you about in the first canto of shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran i'll tell you from there that how actually Sukhdev goes from his path and went to the forest, and he is going to hills and mountains. And he was Sukhdev goes from his speaking. Oh, oh, beta, you come back, you come back. Like because we Sukhdev goes from his actually knows that this is is a topmost Paramhans Vishnu. He will definitely become permanent in his Vishnu. He is not permanent now, but definitely he will become a Paramhans. Sukhdev Goswami is going to forest from hills and mountains and from behind Vyasdev Goswami is asking who oh, beta please come back please come back and it is in the written in the commentary also it looks like that uh, all the it looks like that all the sthavar all those hills and mountains and sthavar they are actually answering Hare Krishna Hare Krishna this echo is coming Hari das Thakur speaking that this this is not at all echo this is actually what you have what you are speaking this Hari naam this is actually the return they are also speaking the name they are also speaking the name all those uh, 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 these plants these hills mountains everyone is answering you so that's why 
this ad in I mean our advanced technology today whenever actually some sound vibration is going in this ether it is going in each and every part of this world or this earth and maybe we are doing a katha then definitely this katha will go to america also everywhere it can go so haridas thakur actually speaking that what you are doing uh, harinam with uh, uh, loud voice actually all those plants and trees are giving you the answer because in the commentary it is written vishwana chakravarti adi is speaking that it seems that uh, vyasdev goswami is just uh, crying that ha putra ha putro osan osan and all those mountains and hills are speaking who is who is your son who is who is your son who is your son like it is written there in bhagavad gita mahapur it looks like that uh, vyasdev goswami is calling his own son that vyasdev goswami the question of vyasdev goswami the question of vyasdev goswami he is actually giving answer of the of the question the what vyasdev goswami oh son please come back please come moha putra ha putra so in this stavar jangam it is written there that it looks like that this stavar jangam is speaking that uh, the one uh, answer is coming ko putra ko putra who is who is who is who son who is who son so like this haridas thakur actually speaking that this naam what you are actually speaking with uh, uh, loud voice the sound vibration actually is the shabd bram actually is going each and every direction each and every part of this earth and it is a mangalmay for all the jeevas so this kind of vichar actually the stakur speaking so so haridas stakur used to do three la- three lakh naam it is not a matter of joke whole whole life actually haridas stakur has done three lakh hari naam three lakh name hari naam he has done and he has just glorified the naam sankirtan and uh, uh, today we will be just this discussing the glorification of hari naam definitely because of that only we can understand glorification of hari naam so in the starting prabhupad actually speaking that just to leave naam aparad prabhupad actually what actually prabhupad speaking that that krishna naam if we are doing nirapraad without any aparad without any aparad we are doing krishna naam just when it is just getting out from our mouth then definitely we can understand that naam naam and the bhagwan himself is not different that only you can understand automatically when you, all your anarth will get vanquished all your aparad will get destroyed when your anarth will get destroyed then definitely you can understand this point and bhagwan and his bhagwan name of bhagwan is not different and with from his this name only our in our bhajan rahasya also it is uh, this kind of uh, discussion is going on so in depth uh, discussion is there so depth is there in this discussion that if we can just take this harinam harinam chintamani i will be speaking it will be not like that so in bhajan rahasya also bhakti vinod thakur has just glorified the naam sankirtan harinam the glorification of naam and sankirtan without aparad if we are doing harinam then definitely that bhagwan and his name is not different just by doing naam slowly and steadily with nishkapat bhav without with the nishkapat bhav in shrimad bhagwat jima pram already told nityam bhagwat sevaya the shlok is there very in a beautiful shlok so it is written there in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran nashto prayas avatrishu avatra mane means anarth nashto prayas avatra jab anarth is almost gone anarth jab almost when anarth is almost gone nashto prayas avatrishu follow nashto prayas avatrishu nitya bhagwat nitya nitya bhagwat seva means those sadhus those devotees pure devotees 
are taking Naam Sankirtan and just preaching the glorification of Naam everywhere. Nityam Bhagavad Sivana means those Mahabhagavad Vaishnam and Mahapuran both Bhakta Bhagavad and Granth Bhagavad and another one is Bhakta Bhagavad. Nityam Bhagavad Sivya. And in this what will happen? Then all the unearth slowly steadily when it is gone, it is destroyed, then definitely that Shri Nam. Uh, but just by doing that, we can definitely just by doing Nam slowly steadily what will happen? We will just uh, inside the Harinam only, we can just go on the qualities, the Leela, everything will get. We will will uh, just get uh, propagated inside our heart automatically. Prabhupada actually speaking that artificial procedure of bhajan it is uh, not at all good. Banavati artificial kritim artificial artificially if you are doing bhajan you don't have to uh, have to you don't have to make efforts that you are in, you are Upanuk devotee and you don't need to prove that because it's an automatic factor. Automatically it will be done. So you don't need to prove that. It automatically will be done. That when you are doing Harinam and when all the unearth actually get getting destroyed, then inside the Naam only, everything, Roop, Gun, Parikar, Vaishisht, everything will be there in this Naam. It is written there. This Kirtan also you should see. It is a Bhakti no Thakur actually given everything. Harinam is Chintamani. Apart from Harinam, nothing is there. Even Bhagwan Swayam is not uh, above Harinam. Bhagwan is not at all equal to Harinam. Maybe Bhagwan and Bhagwan name is equal. Rupa Swami Pada has written, has written in his. Uh, the glorification of Harinam, he has uh, written there in Nam Ashtakam. Haridas Thakur actually has uh, given uh, glorification, it is written there. Haridas Thakur has written, uh, what he has written? Haridas Thakur in uh, glorification of name is written. It is written there. Sachidananda is Nitya and Vacho Vachak means the, in two Swaroop actually you have just come in this Kalikal. There are lot of countless examples, countless uh, proofs. So this Vacha and Vachak, these are two Swaroop of yours. Actually, Karuna my Prakash. Vigra is also Karuna my Prakash. Guru Varg actually have given uh, Vigra and they have just, uh, uh, just by their own will, they have just uh, uh, 
made this vigraha so that they can just pay pranam onto the vigraha and they can just hear hari katha only then they can have that mangal that's why rup go swami pad actually speaking iti udeti bhavatu nam sarvottayam purvasma parameva anto karunam tatrapi jani mahi bhagwan bhagwan actually you are actually swarg prakash men ek vacho you are vacho and vachak these two swarup are yours but vacho means the vacho is more uh, ahead than vat because naam is actually more than that why because varnupi sarvajeev means uh, the anand anand visantam that this varna roop you are just taking in the form of varna you are coming this is written there bhakti vinod thakur ji and roop ko swami pad ji this shloka on that shloka on the basis of shloka bhakti vinod thakur has just written a kirtan bhakti vinod thakur has written a kirtan on this that prabhu ji that we have that news that uh, this vach and vachak swarup of yours this two swarup What is written? Bhakti Nath Thakur has written this. In every where, Bhakti Nath Thakur has written. Bhakti Nath Thakur, you can't even give. Uh, Bhakti Nath Thakur, you can't thank Bhakti Nath Thakur from infinity time. You see, every kirtan it is written. Namastakam, Bhakti Nath Thakur has given in the form of kirtan. So you have given namastakam, shiksha astakam, every. मन शिक्षा उपदेश अमृत वॉट एवर इज देयर वॉट हैज नॉट डन बाय भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर यू सी यू कांट इवन थैंक भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर सो भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर इज देयर देन एवरीथिंग इज देयर इफ ही इज नॉट देयर देन नथिंग इज देयर सो भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर रिटर्न इन कीर्तन वी आर एक्चुअली हैव दैट न्यूज दैट also is just taking uh, harinam mala in his hand and you speaking that harinam is top most actually if that foolish person he, it is not possible for him to do shuddha naam what to speak so this actually this whole world is like that. those who are all the time they are doing jap mala of naam one time in chatanya gode mat there, there is one krishnagar branch when we are just come, when i used to come from rindavan i used to stay in krishnanagar branch uh, maharaj used to love me a lot he is because he has already left his body now but he used to love me a lot i used to stay there and i used to do hari 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 kada kirtan i used to do there in that month one day what happened the mother was actually speaking that one day what happened one baba ji came there maybe i don't know from which sampradaya is from prabhupad or from where i don't know he actually came there and he actually tamodar mara speaking to me he actually coming and speaking to me that maharaj 
this uh, uh, outside actually you just uh, stick one poster outside damodar maharaj speaking that at baba ji maharaj came and he stayed there for 2 4 days he is a sadhu okay no worries and he is uh, giving me some suggestion that you maharaj you just uh, uh, post stick one poster there actually he is actually there is one baba who is doing 3 lakh harina actually i have maharaj become very surprised Oh, why actually is doing like they all people will come there actually those people those people uh, this kind of harinam lot of people are doing lot of people are there who was doing harinam like this that he is nam siddh actually he has done like this but like bhakti mohan thakur speaking that uh, how to do nam he has just like some he just came back from his house and after just taking some prasadam just taking bath he used to he used to do some work and after that he is just taking some rest to to one and a half to us and after that full night he used to do harinam sankirtan all the time he is doing harinam whole world is actually sleeping all those asura whole world actually sleeping all asura actually sleeping but haridas thakur actually all whole night actually doing harinam this actually the glorification of nam we can definitely have darshan of that apart from that artificially we can't have that darshan definitely tomorrow i will just prove that that inside nam inside nam inside the name of bhagwan there is bhagwan is swayam there and in the kirtan also bhakti no thakur written Bangla, you can understand. Do you understand Bengali? Bhakti Mohan Thakur writing here. That this is a bird of flower. Bird of flower. After that, what happens? It is just uh, getting uh, propagated. And slowly, steadily, we can just. Uh, get to learn when that full fruit will just get in front of us then uh, that small bud of flower then small flower then bhagwan bhakti mohan thakur speaking then there is when sm- very small amount of naam shuddha naam just get uh, propagated and uh, it will just uh, propagate your swarup then bhakti mohan thakur speaking and definitely we definitely our name swarup everything will get uh, propagated and our this will make our heart that our heart why chit heart because it is actually getting attracted to material things actually it is just getting now attached to bhagwan it is just uh, getting attached to bhagwan now now everything is done that is actually now so definitely tomorrow i will be just giving you the proof that what jeev ko swami pad has told that shuddhanta karan apikshu eh shuddhe chanta karane rup shobaneno tadudai jukuta bhavati eh shamma kudite cha rupe gunanam suranam eh gunanam surane pehle gun uska first is gun the uh, qualities It is written there by Jeev Goswami Path. And slowly, steadily, actually, everything will get uh, uh, in front, in up front, in us, uh, in front of us. And artificially, if is someone is doing uh, nam, it is not at all good. and roop gun parikar actually automatically will get uh, manifested uh, in front of us by hari naam and bhakti mohan thakur has uh, written in the bhajan rahasya this has been uh, manifested by him and bhakti mohan thakur lot of things uh, have been written by bhakti mohan thakur that about glorification of hari naam that uh, roopanuk bhajan bhakti mohan thakur has written a uh, lot of siddhant vichara and prabhupad also writing some siddhant vichar so all this actually prabhupad actually speaking apna asura is 
those we have having this kind of conception of a subtle and fine form of our body this asmita this gapping is there when there is slowly steadily when our fine body and our subtle body that gapping will get uh, reduced that maya gapping will slowly steadily will get destroyed will getting reduced then uh, at that time we will definitely uh, manifest our swarup our swarup get manifested in front of us when our subtle and uh, fine form that gapping is just getting reduced then definitely we will be having that relationship with that uh, bhagwan bhagwad vastu and that gapping of maya will get reduced and it will just get it dropping day by day definitely slowly steadily we will uh, uh, that swarup will get manifested that nitya swarup that nitya siddh swarup nitya siddh swarup actually will just get manifested after that when it is getting manifesting in front of us then by when we will be doing that naam sankirtan hari naam then definitely that aprakrit krishna tattva we will understand then we will just go into that uh, siddh swarup when the sadak has just got into the siddh swarup then definitely that naam uchcharan what he is doing at that time then krishna will definitely manifest his aprakrit swarup in front of him he will give that darshan that will become the point of darshan for us naam is actually for jiva it is just manifesting the swarup and is just attracting us towards krishna and naam is actually giving attraction towards krishna and naam is actually for all the jivas it is giving all the sab kriya and is just giving attraction towards that krishna leela and he is giving that uh, giving attraction towards the krishna leela naam seva is the topmost and those who are doing naam hari naam for their glorification we can't speak that's why uh, when we are discussing about naam aparad there i will just show you that bhagwan that uh, those uh, bhagwan actually who has done uh, lot uh, aparad on to the lotus feet of bhagwan he can just remove that okay it can be rectified those who have done aparad on to lotus feet of bhagwan it can be rectified when when they have when we have taken the ashray of naam and we have taken the shelter of hari naam then it can be rectified naam so naam the glorification of naam by just uh, serving hari naam the our uh, whatever bhajan ang limbs of bhajan are there everything is there in hari naam just by doing hari naam everything is done this is the actual prabhav of naam and uh, naam aparad also bhakti mayur thakur has written definitely i will be discussing on that in the coming days so hari naam chintamani rasa vigraha purna shuddha nitya mukto avinatva naam namino naam nami naam and bhagwan name there is no not different from each other and bhakti mayur thakur has a apna written in this introductory speech about this hari naam chintamani he is actually giving explanation given lot of explanation regarding this pad 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 has written lot of pad pad means in the form of kirtan he has written some small small kirtan if we will just uh, in one year also we can't read this whole kirtan that's why bhakti mayur thakur actually what is speaking what he want to speak in summary conclusive conclusively what is speak that krishna and krishna naam is non different and krishna and krishna shakti that achintya veda vai shakti it is non different is bhakti mayur thakur actually in bengali kirtan he is writing in the form of bengali kirtan he is describing everything शक्ति तार विभव स्वरूप हैं अनंत वैभवे कृष्ण होय एक रूप ये सारे जो है सो ऑल दिस एक्चुअली आई एम 
just uh, 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 giving you. So if I will speak uh, the whole thing, then a lot of time will be gone. Lot of time will be taken in order to describe that. So Krishna and Krishna Swarup is not different. Krishna and Krishna Nam is not different. And Krishna Vigraha and Krishna is not different. So what we have actually manifested that Vigra is not different. And Krishna Krishna Shakti is not different. So all which are you have already heard previously also. That Krishna and Krishna Shakti is not different. So this Shakti, this has uh, the in, infinite Shakti. There is a lot of uh, categorized Chit Shakti, Jeev Shakti and Maya Shakti. Categorization is there. Slowly, steadily, one by one, we will be discussing it. There were the infinity web of is there. In Brahm Samhita also, from this shlok, Brahmaji actually has just given his actual realization what he has got. He has just speaking. This Govind, I have to do the bhajan, who is actually the, who is getting, who is the king of all the infinity brahmanda, that is Mahavishnu, that the infinity brahmanda, who is actually, he is coming into the, uh, air follicle of that Mahavishnu, each and every uh, uh, follicle of his hair, uh, it's there uh, in the form in the Mahavishnu. We are actually very small jiva, how we can understand this point? It is written there that uh, infinity Brahman is just getting manifested from Mahavishnu. And, uh, and just by taking the air inside, inside, all the all infinity planets just came inside the Bhagwan. Bhakti Nath Thakur has written a lot of things regarding this. That how if that Shakti is getting manifested everywhere, that is called that is called Vaibhav. So like this, Chid Vaibhav, lot of infinity Chid Vaibhav and infinity Vaikunt uh, planets are there and Golok Dham, everything is actually how Krishna Bhagavan, where actually Krishna Bhagavan is there, it is already uh, given description of Chit Bhava Bhakti no Thakur has given. And after that, where actually Krishna, that Chit Vibhuti of Bhagavan Shri Krishna, that is actually Vishnu Tattva, that is called Shuddha Tattva, Shuddha Sattva. Vishnu Tattva has came from Krishna Tattva only. If you already heard this, so this infinity Brahman, whatever is there, in uh, directly indirectly it is actually coming from Bhagavan Sri Krishna. In Golok and Vakunt, everywhere, only it is the, there is actually Chit Vibhuti of Krishna, that Shuddha Sattva of Krishna is there. And uh, this Shuddha Sattva, this is, a, and one is Mishra Sattva, Mishra Sattva. Shuddha Sattva is Vishnu Tattva. There is not at all any mixture, uh, mixing, like this uh, in our, this material world. In this material modes of nature, we are just there, inside this. Like in the ocean, we are just uh, getting into the water just to take bath. In the same way, this infinity Brahman, infinity material world, they are actually coming in this three modes of material nature. In this ocean of three modes of material nature, it is there. And each and every jiva, there is no uh, single jiva and no demigod is there who is not coming, uh, who is out of this three modes of material nature. Maybe he may be more or less, maybe sometimes more or less, but still all they are in the absorbing condition 
in this material can material material works they are in this three uh, ocean of this material modes of nature all the jivas each and every jiva according to his previous sanskar whatever bhav he has he is actually getting according birth body according to that maybe some uh, someone having more satoguna in inside him some someone having more rajoguna and someone having more tamoguna in them someone having someone having shuddha satoguna is more there in shuddha satoguna cannot be there because shuddha satoguna means that there is no mixing of triguna three modes of material nature he was speaking sometimes that this person is very satvik that this person is very satvik it means it doesn't mean that uh, there is only it doesn't mean that there is only satogun inside him it means that satogun is predominating factor inside him but rajogun is there and tamogun is also there it means that there is admixture of this all the three modes modes of nature if we are speaking to one person that he is satvik he is having satvi he is a satvik person it doesn't mean that no rajoguna no tamoguna is there inside him definitely it will be there definitely it will be there but shuddha in shuddha sattva bhumika uh, there is satoguna they are already rajoguna is there tamoguna is there and that prakrit satoguna that uh, prakrit satoguna material satoguna in that what you have already told that he is actually a satoguna person this is the admixture of all the three guna you just need to remove tamoguna you just need to kick rajoguna just need to kick rajoguna and satoguna also you just need to throw when it is done when you are out of this remorse of material energy you are getting shuddha satoguna so this is shuddha satoguna satoguna ka so all these demigods are they are satvik definitely they are satvik but still they are having mishra satvik that is not shuddha satva be be careful about this they are not at all shuddha satva they are mishra satva mixing of satva gun all indra varun everyone even brahma shiv also all they are mishra satvik brahma shiv whatever they are mishra satva and chit vaibhav i will definitely be speaking tomorrow that uh, what is chit bhavav and maya maya vaibhav and jeev vaibhav and after that what are there are different categories in jeeva mukta jeeva mukta jeev bad jeev everything slowly steadily i will be speaking and uh, so glorification is there and after that you will be able to understand that hari naam chintamani is definitely chintamani and this is not a matter of joke it is a very serious matter so in this vishay definitely by discussing bhakti no thakur has just uh, speaking something that what is actually hari naam bhakti no thakur just discussing this there is one lecture there is one bhashan one lecture of hari das thakur oh bhakti no thakur bhakti no thakur actually just uh, speaking from uh, rabindranath thakur ji is uh, the place where rabindranath thakur was staying at that place he has the building that rabindranath thakur's building he has just taken uh, just he actually is speaking there that uh, apart from norm uh, that uh, joda sakar that it is in north calcutta from sham bazar it is like one and a half kilometers away i have just went there so this in joda shakar actually in the big assembly in that bidbad mandali big assembly bhakti mo thakur has given one lecture on hari naam just to glorify hari naam just to manifest hari naam that this kal chakra of bhagwan is so much prabhavshali that all the jeevas actually just get destroyed in this nobody will uh, be there standing so all these bonded jeevas actually whatever they are doing whatever they are asking uh, the fruit regarding that that will also that will also get destroyed when when there is no activity left whatever fruitive activity that fruitive activity whatever we are doing that karma 
he is asking that fruit for that still everything is destructible because this kriya karam whatever we are doing the activity is also destructible so it is not at all of no use it is useless varnashram dharma this rup we have already told what is the actual form of that i have already told about that previously previous day as well that when person in his bonded state then the person is in bonded state and he is actually when person is in bonded state then definitely he has to follow that ved shastra and it is good to follow them ved shastra why and what the just to follow varnashram dharma by following the ved shastra for him up till now at present it is practical and good for him why because varnashram dharma the secret rahasya uh, of this the secrecy of varnashram dharma just by following varnashram dharma slowly steadily every person will definitely according to his own behavior and definitely that uh, reduction of that uh, subtle form and fine form of the reducing the gap of maya just by following his own uh, just be maintaining his own life by following varnashram and just be just discussing hari katha kirtan that is uh, good otherwise this maintaining the life and all this and just to maintain our body and all this eating everything will be going on so in this what will happen that haridas kirtan hari katha and kirtan we will get the uh, chance to do that and you can't be able to believe that that i am just speaking 50 to 55 years back one uh, one thing i am speaking about that the atmosphere was totally different in each and every house there was tulsi uh, plant was there they used to give water to tulsi they used to do parikram of tulsi all these kind of vrat upvas were there i have already seen that and now actually everything changed everything is changed now totally opposite now so in every uh, village and uh, house when the then there is a uh, uh, evening time whatever they have done in the field or whatever job they are doing 200 years back when i am just talking about 200 there was the situation was totally different at that time in each and every house hari katha and kirtan somebody is uh, just discussing vishnu purana somebody is discussing ramcharitramanas and in some house some bhagavad ji mahabharat mahabharat actually all actually they were discussing at that time 200 years back but now oof, oh my god everything is gone now nobody actually don't want to give any instructions to anyone regarding shastra everything they have just cut and throw everything they have just thrown they don't have any um, bhakti mo thakur actually speaking here that if this kind of condition this just by following this varnashram accordingly like this that it, according to his swabhav and sanskar if he is going according to that if he is just following varnashram dharm that person he is just maintaining his life according to that so that's why it is written in kirtan as well nowadays actually we are not remembering this we are not at all actually we used to remember this thing you have heard this thing no you haven't heard but this kirtan is there it is written in kirtan by bhakti mo thakur but nobody wants to understand this if actually by hari katha and hari kirtan we are just understanding we are just getting that chance to do hari katha kirtan nowadays actually so much busy everyone that our life is so fast that they are just become like cats and dogs life has just become like cat and dogs just running like them so fast life is now fast food he don't have any time for eating as well fast food so like this life is there so this hari katha kirtan we should get the chance to do that ये 
भागवजी महापुराण इट इज रिटन दैट एक्चुअली आई एम एक्चुअली वेरी स्मॉल वेरी शूद्र अकॉर्डिंग टू माई स्वभाव अबाउट अकॉर्डिंग टू माई स्वभाव अकॉर्डिंग टू माई स्वभाव आई एम डूइंग माई कर्म दैट इज कॉल्ड स्वभाव विहित कर्म दैट जस्ट बाई डूइंग दैट कर्म इफ आई बी गोइंग अड एंड डेफिनेटली आई बी डूइंग आई एम नॉट गेटिंग माई हार्ट इंडल्ज इन डूइंग हरिनाम संकीर्तन then whatever i am doing everything is uh, uh, useless whether i am a brahman all kind of uh, puja and everything i have done but still if i am not getting the preeti in the and prema uh, getting attraction for the uh, naam sankirtan and bhagwan then whatever energy i have given everything is useless so that's why according to your own ability Every person, for each and every person, according to their swabhav vid karma, they have to do that karma according to their own swabhav. That they have to take shelter onto the lotus of. If they are not getting attraction towards Bhagwan and Nam Sankirtan and Bhagwan lotus feet, then the all energy is be useless. It, my whole energy just went into water. so like this if we can just uh, see observe that there are lot of shlokas there in bhagwan actually in bhagwat ji mahapuran also it is written that if bhagwan actually we are not getting indulge in naam sankirtan and of bhagwan then everything is useless so now actually in bangla katha also i have just told previously that whatever uh, activities we are doing that according to our swabhav vihit uh, 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 activities what we are we are going forward and if we are not getting uh, our heart indulged in uh, activities of uh, bhagwan krishna then before that what is the step that according to their swabhav vihit karma whatever i am doing actually whatever i am doing that is actually that by doing that inside our heart slowly steadily there will be that uh, while we getting uh, varag and i will be getting that back, uh, realization that this uh, world is of two days this definite like it i want to speak that whatever is my kriya karma whatever i want to do is just by following that slowly steadily i am following that i am getting that varag that uh, knowledge a prakrit knowledge is getting inside if that a prakrit knowledge is not at all getting inside my heart that this world is of two days this is actually temporary world if this is not coming inside our heart heart uh, uh, up till that point everything is useless whatever activities you are doing so this ved vihit karma slowly steadily when you are doing slowly steadily uh, when you will go ahead in bhajan that uh, Uh, a prakrit transcendental knowledge will get uh, come inside our heart so this gyan actually that a prakrit knowledge definitely for all the jeevas this uh, this gyan charcha what we uh, for all the jeevas so this what we are discussing about gyan this actually is uh, for all the jeevas it is that should be the topmost sadhan for all the jeevas but what before i have already spoken that about varnashram dharma you have to follow varnashram dham slowly steadily you have to just uh, uh, do bhajan of vishnu and bhagwan hari if you are not discussing about uh, vishnu Uh, just by following varnashram dharma if you are not doing uh, discussion of uh, hari and you are not getting your heart indulged in hari naam sankirtan and hari katha then everything is useless whatever dharma anushthan we are doing it is all useless why because by doing karm by doing activities nobody nobody has gone out of this uh, material world by doing karm material karm it is not at all uh, possible to cut the bondage of this karma material karma definitely i will be tomorrow in the coming days we will be discussing 
that by doing this cycle of karma cannot get cut so is similarly this just to get out of this material bondage it is not at all possible to get out just by doing karma and our material bondage we become more and more uh, uh, active and if this karma is actually vedic karma and if we are doing it just uh, taking bhagwan in front we are doing that karma and we are just discussing the activities of bhagwan and that ved with karma we are doing that like this then we are actually not getting indulged in bhagwan hari katha and hari kirtan then it is useless so this gyan charcha their knowledge it is just a part of sadhan this knowledge of prakrit knowledge so this knowledge why we just want to speak about this gyan we just want to speak about this gyan so that we can get the power of atma we are getting atma shakti i am not talking about material gyan i am not talking about material knowledge i am talking about that transcendental knowledge that we will get purity of our atma why because it is written in gita by bhagwan bhagwan speaking in gita that uh, nothing is more pure than this gyan uh, but this is not the gyan of mayavadi knowledge of mayavadi you don't think it wrongly the knowledge of uh, the gyan of mayavadi actually i have already told previously i have told in go at the time of gaur purnima uh, i think so 2 years back maybe 2 years maybe 1 and 1/2 years back i have just spoken in jum hari line katha i have just told that about bhagwat ji mahapuran that last shlok of bhagwat ji mahapuran they are actually i have just proved here they are that according to good pravachan of prabhupada and from other other uh, places as well in hindi katha as well i have just given the proof uh, regarding this that kaval lek prayojana this kavalya means when this kavalya it has come in that absolute form prabhupada speaking then this kavalya has just gone into that absolute form prabhupada actually speaking this sampurna apratyato unavaited 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 kavalya unavaited kavalya he has nothing in between to stop him that kind of kavalya this kavalya that is called prema you so so nice which are actually proper speaking but this bhagavatam shloka actually those mayavadi people are just speaking opposite someone has actually question me okay right but uh, kavalya when is going to that absolute form apratihata kavalya means that absolute form it is getting that just to get the serving attitude towards virjendra nanda that is called prema there is no amangal in this all eternal happiness and blissfulness is there so gyan is the most utmost pure it doesn't mean that uh, mayavadi gyan you must take and you are just clicking uh, in front of that front of me that gyan that it, it means that pure gyan is the sambandha gyan that i am of bhagwan and i have relationship with bhagwan that sambandha gyan we are talking about so this mayavadi actually this gyan of mayavadi this knowledge of mayavadi this material knowledge that the, it cannot purify us uh, uh, in reverse it will contaminate us it will give contamination inside our heart if we haven't done this then brahma is not at all mad why am brahma ji actually speaking and all demigods are also speaking that the the to do the service of bhagwan name parshad everything leela has a nitya and all the sambandh is also nitya that is the final outcome of all the uh, discussions sare 
thing actually it is just being proved scientifically i just want to show you that bhagwan has uh, spoke, spoken differently and uh, the uh, jeevas are thinking in a different manner jnan is the topmost uh, that is uh, coming in the form of sadhan for them which will give them purity that is, but that jnan which we which, which will make the jeevas contaminated and who will just make them bhagwat vimukh what kind of gyan is this the gyan which is actually just kicking bhagwan out and that killing that serving attitude inside us what kind of gyan is that to gyan is the topmost purity what we have gyan is actually to get the purity of atma that our atma vastu is getting pure by that gyan our atma that atma vastu as actually is not at all uh, material thing is just a normal thing is just temporary but he just by forgetting this thing that i am this atma i am not this body just by forgetting this point this actually whatever the jeev atma is there inside our heart just by forgetting this uh, that i am chinmay i am nitya vastu we are just getting attracted to this material thing i am still i am in this material uh, bondage he is at getting this he is uh, just forgetting all this and that's why this jeev he is actually just taking this material body he is going into this karma mark and is going for infinity period to on to this uh, pathway and uh, gyan just we can understand that i am not at all material i am transcendental i am nitya this is the actual gyan this is the actual knowledge and just to understand this that i am actually nitya das of bhagwan and just to get established in our swarup and so we have so much actually attraction for karma so much attraction for karma we have just by discussing that pure gyan definitely will become slowly steadily pure by that so this gyan naturally will uh, he will get out of that he will uh, come to the stage of nishkarma nishkarma bhav no kamna is there no desire is there and this uh, nitya vastu that chit aswadan is there so this uh, chit aswadan actually in any condition in material condition it is not at all started and definitely i will be starting it tomorrow uh, tomorrow today we have very small time i just have to give rest today i'll just be discussing this shloka tomorrow it is very important definitely i'll be discussing it tomorrow tomorrow i will just give that who is actually paramans who is atmaram they are also actually actually singing the glorification of naam sankirtan all the time they are just becoming mad in that just by doing naam sankirtan today i'll be just giving uh, uh, rest today and uh, i will be just uh, be resting today up till now i don't have time today so nishkarma api achyuta bhava varjitam no shabate gyanam gyanam amalam niranjanam this shloka actually we will be just discussing tomorrow 